Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Deleted Scenes from Sunday Sermon. Today's topic, religion versus Jesus. Listen to what the Word of God says in Psalm chapter 40 verses 6 through 8. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have pierced. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Here I am. I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. If you've been a Christian for any period of time, it is inevitable that someone has called you the R word. I'm referring to the word religious, follower of Christ. I am confident that at some point in your life, someone has described you as being a very religious person. Now, I don't want you to get too upset with that because that person is actually saying to you that you are very committed to what you believe in. They don't know any other way to describe the fact that you are a fully devoted follower of Jesus Christ. Now, for those who are calling Christians religious people, there's something very important that you have to understand. The number one public enemy of Jesus Christ while he was here on this earth were religious people. As a matter of fact, Jesus had a favorite saying for the religious people of his day. It's found in Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Jesus was adept at revealing what truly was in the heart of a person. The religious people in the days of Jesus would make a vow and say that their money was devoted to God. And then when their elderly parents needed help or assistance, they would respond by saying, oh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I've already given and devoted my money to God. But what was really happening there? They were hiding behind God so that they didn't have to honor their father and their mother. One of the things that Jesus taught us is that external religious conformity does not equate with proximity to God and closeness to God. This was something that the psalmist in Psalm chapter 40 had to learn. At first he thought God just wanted him to bring sacrifice after sacrifice, after sacrifice. But the longer that he walked with God, the more he realized that God didn't want nor need his sacrifices. God just wanted him. God wanted this worshiper to offer himself as a living sacrifice to God. God didn't want his sacrifice because God was already planning to provide the once and for all sacrifice by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to this world to die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. You see, religion is what man has done to God in order to reach up to him. But Jesus is what God has done for us in order to reach down to us. And the only way that we should respond to that revelation is with the H word, the I word, and the A word, all together in the same sentence. Here I am. Thank you for listening. And may God richly bless you this day. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. To listen to Sunday's sermon in its entirety, 
please click on the link below. If you enjoyed today's video, please let us know by commenting, subscribing, and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you.